and drip irrigation. All right, guys, so simple enough. I've got this tool. They make better tools than this, um, ones that are much easier, but it, this is this came free with the kit. I didn't get another one, but should work. So you make a little, little hole. I'm not sure you guys can see that. Then you just take one of these and you put it right in. And you won't be able to take it out. So I had already set up this where I can turn this on or off. Um, you know, with each bed, I've got one over on that bed and one over on that bed. So, but I already set this up, but I haven't set up the actual drip irrigation system yet. So once you put that in, you take one of these and they've got these little nodule things here that just drip water at a, you know, slow pace. And they're a little tough to get in, but that's good because it, it makes it so it will stay there forever. Yeah, it'll stay for oh almost never break off. Well. There we go. I got it in. Then we're gonna come down. Do you have the scissors, honey? Oh, they're right there. Alright, so now we're gonna come through. We're gonna look. There's a nodule right there. So we'll cut this off at the end. And then we've got these little end cap pieces that Just fit right. At the end and it just plugs it up. They make these things. Now I don't think I have enough for all these, but we'll see. All right, so then you just take these and they kind of snap into place. Really easily. Not super easy, no, actually. But they snap, there we go. Then you can you know, figure out the line. We want to make sure that we're in the middle of the two rows. And then we've got, and that'll, you know, two, two of them that holds it up a little bit and keeps it, you know, dripping rather than getting clogged with water. And we've got a little sprout here. That's pretty close. Um, interesting. I thought that we had planted along here. It seems like it's in a little bit, so that's, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. Once these sprout, we might be moving this a little bit. We can kind of turn it. We'll see how that goes. So, now that we can see how one is done, let's put these aside. I'm going to use my little tool. I'm going to go ahead and make holes all along where I'm going to put the drip. There we go. So I've got carrots here, I've got other carrots here in each row, and then in between, so I've got two, I've got one here, and then a, a row. But I want it kind of, there'll be one here and one here, so that way the drip irrigation gets close to one of these, and I've got two rows of, of honey, I know there's water, it's good, it's fine. So I've got two rows here of stuff, and then I'm going to put another drip here. And then two more rows, another drip there. So, um, and then there's one more row there, and that should get that. So, <sighs> all right. I got the holes put in. Well, most of them. All the holes we need today. Done. Not yet, huh? Then you put those in. Then you get the process. <sighs> All right. One other thing is these are about uh, 12 inches apart here. And I want the drip to start pretty soon there. So I'm going to cut off the excess that doesn't have one of these little nodules. I would say this is probably the hardest part to get these on here. I heard if you dip them in like warm water, it'll kind of soften it. But yeah, I'm not sure. All right, so let's, while you're holding that, Eli. Make sure we're not in any of the rows of veggies. Good. 
And excuse me guys, I don't know if you can hear it, but my neighbor is blasting music. They're having a rave or something over there. It's crazy. So anyway, I apologize if you're hearing the music. It's kind of obnoxious music, honestly. Not my style, but it is what it is. And one thing I just realized, I forgot to tie these down. This will hold this here, so that way it's not gonna move on us. Thanks for the help, bud. Get that one close. Thanks for picking it up. All right, so I'm out of those little uh, stake things. So I've got more of these U-shaped things. And while this might not be the best option, it's what I got right now, so. It'll kind of keep them together. All right, and there we go, guys. We've got the drip irrigation done for this bed. So we've got a row of carrots here and then drip. And then a row of carrots, and I think this is lettuce, and then drip. And then, I think more carrots. Um, and then, carrots. okay, yeah, carrots, and then uh, radish, and then drip. And then rutabaga, I think, or one of them, turnip, or something like that. Uh, maybe that's lettuce, and then rutabaga and turnip, but anyway. Uh, two more rows, another drip, and then one more row here. Now. We left all this, we'll probably put another row of veggies at one point here and a drip system here, and then two more. Um, so I don't know, we'll probably do lettuce and then carrots. Uh, these are starting to come up a little bit already, which is pretty cool. Now I'll give you guys a more detail when they all come up, but I'm not sure if you can see right there, but there's a couple little, little sprouts here popping up already so and this was only like three days ago we planted this so so next what we're probably going to do and we'll bring you along when we do this but i'm going to be putting these in the um the corners and along the the middle um and we're going to do set up you know our shade cloth on it because it is still hot um which is too hot for carrots we'll do it just like this over here um here's the shade cloth and this is what i got for cabbage and stuff so we'll be setting that up and then we'll put the you know, PVC, you can see I've got them over there, the PVC pipes. Um, we'll set that up right, right there. And that should give us a lot of shade right here, which is much needed in this weather. Um, probably in another month, um, we'll be able to take all that off because it'll start cooling a little more, but this will get kind of get them started, so. All right, so now we are going to see if this works. Let's go ahead and turn this on. We'll see. And yep, we got drip all along i don't know if you can see them all but we definitely have drip so yep all of them are dripping it's good so you can see every six inches or so and you know it, 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 it water kind of expands through soil six to twelve inches anyway uh, eight inches or so i hear so that'll give you know we've got maybe a 12 inches in between, so it'll kind of get right into the center of each one, so that way each one gets water. Um, perfect, this is good. And this way I don't overwater either, and drip irrigation waters deeper, which is good for these root veggies. So, there we go guys, all set up. 
Let us know how you think of the garden and the drip irrigation system. Let us know in the comments. We will see you in the next video. And now you guys escape the daily grind. <laughs>